It's kind of tricky. Whoa! Ah! Keep on practicing. You'll get the hang of it. Come on, show time's over. We've got work to do. Welcome back to the Tiger Hanger. This is Mike. Today I'm going to talk to you about the DK32 upgrade kit for the Studio Series 86 Slug, uh, Slag, and the Daniel Wit Wiki, which the Daniel's probably the main part of the set, but I did get this at Show Z. I'm going to have a link below where you can get yours. I think there's more in stock, but it was on sale for 40 bucks, and they're reissuing Slag this year or next year, actually, later on in 2024. And so I figure I might as well open it up and see how this, this upgrade kit works. And then, of course, compare Daniel to all the other ones that are out there in the exosuits. So we'll talk about this some more coming up. All right, here is the packaging. Nothing really to speak of that much, but shows what's in there. And it didn't show, no, nothing showed this bonus gold sword. So that's a nice bonus that I didn't know about, but I can't guarantee it's in everyone's, but it was in mine for some reason. Anyhow, that's the packaging. That's what you get. Now, I don't usually do upgrade kits, especially for the mainline stuff. I don't usually even open my mainline stuff, but I want to point out this, that this little figure is a full-on figure, a transforming full figure, and I wanted to check it out. I wanted to get it and see how it stacks up to the other ones that are out there and just to have another one on the shelf would be kind of fun and so this is what i feel the basically the majority of the review is but we're looking at him we'll do his transformation later on his head there's no paint so daniel's blonde now so there you go it does look right though it does kind of fit the character he comes with this tiny little gun on there too so that's fun which I didn't remember him using a gun, but maybe I got to rewatch the 86 movie again during editing and figure that out. But uh, yeah, he looks pretty good overall. That's a cool looking figure. Uh, quick with the articulation, you can actually turn the head side to side and then this will pop off. Uh, 360 at the shoulder, it goes out to about there. The elbow doesn't do hardly anything. It's weird how the elbow works. But part of the transformation, of course. And then... Waist swivel, and then hip goes out to there, goes out to the side, thigh swivel, nice knee, and then some foot articulation. Pretty much what you'd need for this little guy to stand and get everything done. So, not a bad little figure at all. Then you get these two swords. So the red one is translucent, transparent, you can see through it, and that's cool. And very reminiscent of G1. So why did he not come with a sword originally? Keep the price point down, I guess. I, I don't know. They should be coming with their swords. I mean, it's what they're known for from G1. Anyway, so you get a gold one and a red clear one. Now, I've not seen... I watched a couple of these reviews before I bought this to see, like, what... Like, is this worth the money? And I, I think the money's really in the figure. But with the swords, it's kind of cool. And I'll show what we can do with those here in a little bit. And then this... This is kind of uh, the horns replacements, if you want red horns and you want them solid, horn replacement. And it's also doubling as this is going to be a way to make a shield. You're going to make a shield with this. So we're going to do all of that. It's a whole lot of fun stuff that we got going on. And we'll do that here coming up. First of all, I messed around with this to kind of see. I mean, I felt weird popping this off, right? I just opened this thing and I'm popping it off of here. But you pop this off here, you just kind of spread these a little bit to get it out of the way and then you tuck kind of furl all this back into here he's still gonna have a bit of a tail with it not as big of a tail but he's still gonna have a tail a tail to tell and here's this now we're gonna come over here and plug this in to here so this is gonna plug in to that the same way you unplugged it and it feels a little strange. Uh, it feels strange the first time. So you're going to have this shield now. So that plug that into here, into the 5 millimeter port. Come on. That is not wanting to go in there. It's supposed to be a 5 millimeter port. There it goes. Anyway, I'm going to plug that all back in and get it set up. All right. So here he is with his shield. And that 
kind of looks nice. So instead of having a tail hanging off the back, you can have a shield and then you can just pop it back on when you want to transform them or whatever you want to do. So that's an interesting thing that they've done. Now notice you can holster the swords on his hips, both hips, both sides. And it's just a tab right there. There's a slot and there's the tab. This is the tone and that is the base and there is the tab. Uh, so this is what the back looks like now with no tail hanging off the back. So that's kind of cool. So let's shove this. Oh, that one went in nice and easy. That was a, it must be a smaller than five millimeters. If it's smaller than five millimeters, it slides in easy. Uh, that one might have been a little, the other one might have been thicker than five millimeters. Anyway, five millimeters is the magic number when it comes to this. So that's what he looks like with his sword and his shield. And yeah, that looks kind of nice. Now, I was surprised with this figure. He's kind of weak in the knees. Like, his knees are, well, now it's holding okay, but for a bit there, he kept just wanting to fall with his knees. Uh, surprised, I didn't know that, and it's the first time I handled this figure. But anyway, he looks pretty good with all of that. And then if you want to see, okay, what's he look like with his gold sword? There he is with his gold sword. And I'm not at the point where I'm going to take this out, but you could put his uh, gun in the bottom of his shield, so that would add some look to it if you wanted to. But yeah, there it is. He's got his gold sword and he's all happy that he has some stuff. All right, so for comparison for the little guy here, I wanna say this is the core class that you get for 10 bucks. Now they're charging 12 for them unless you find them at Ross for four. So that's uh, a good one. It's not a bad figure. I kinda like what they did with it for the price point. You actually have rolling wheels. So that was good for the price point. This is the Masterpiece one, and it's just a little bit taller. Just a hair taller. And I think this is actually Spike, but is it Daniel? I don't know. I don't know which one's which. Which one's supposed to be a Spike, which one's supposed to be a Daniel. I just don't really care. But anyhow, that's how they look. And all of these exosuits side by side will look great on a shelf still. Now, the one thing about this is the colors of kind of these joints are closer on the Masterpiece. And this, because Takara did them both. And then these are a little bit different color with the DNA designs. Now to transform this guy, push the feet up and then fold in the rear piece here. Let's just go ahead and do one leg at a time. Fold that rear piece in and then you're gonna be able to slide it up and you've got that whole segment done. Same thing on the other side, let's fold this rear piece in, slide that up and then tab this together Come on, tab, and you've got that part, and we can rotate this around. Is, is that supposed to rotate around? Or do you leave that up top? I think you might leave that up top. Okay, R roll this head to the side real tight. Now, I did pre-do one of these. So you're going to, yeah, so we are going to flip that around. We're going to uh, fold this up like so. What you have to do is you have to make an opening here. So you have to move this whole joint here to where you can it rolls that way it needs to go this way so you just open it up a little bit and just start uh, kind of rolling it it's the best I can say is how you're doing it rolling it around you're rolling this joint around it seemed a little easier on the first one than the second one there it goes as you can see it rolled around and then you're going to make sure it's rolled all the way around get the shoulder in the correct position, and then it goes up. So then you have it like that. It's really an ingenious, simple transformation, but it does limit articulation. It kind of makes me question why did they just make this a little bit harder than it should be. Now, there's a tab here and a slot here, so that gets it in there nice and tight. And no, I'm not gonna transform the masterpiece in the core one. I'm just gonna have this one to look at, but there it goes. Lots of fun. No rolling wheels. Let me see if I can tighten that up a little bit. All right. Uh, there is actually storage for your gun. Third party likes to do that. And there he is. Daniel. Yeah, looks good. I think it's a pretty solid offering for what it does. It slides, not rolls, and it looks pretty okay. I mean, there's no paint on the face, but... This actually does represent exactly how it goes with the hands, the fists right up front and all that. This really does feel a lot like it 
would have been actually cool if the head would have looked up too. That would have been cool too. But uh, this, for the price point, what you're getting, and it's third party and it's not uh, mass produced, it is pretty ingenious. All right, now for one of the problems is the horns. So pulling the horns off, you're gonna notice that these horns are hollow and don't look so great. So they include these horns, they're solid and red. And so plug them in, whichever one seems to go to the right place. They're supposed to face forward, forward facing horns. There we go. So there's that. And then you can plug these other horns on if you want. If that's a thing you want to do. Plug them onto here. And then you can plug that into this. If that's a thing you want to do. Uh, I don't know if I'd want to do that, but it's weapon storage. Also, you have weapon storage for your swords over here on the side in those holes. 5 millimeter ports or you could put it uh, a sword up top if you want in that port or you could put them both on the bottom maybe to the back that's the thing that you want to do but what you really want to do is put this guy up on here now that's a thing that you can do with this set and it looks fine. Now, the original one, and there's no need to take it out because it, it only does that, but the original one has no face paint and uh, you know, it doesn't have a face and it literally is just bent legs and bent arms. It is, it was a wasted opportunity. They could have put 12 more cents in the other one and we wouldn't have needed this upgrade kit, but now we've got this. So it works, it gets the job done because it is a full figure that can ride on it. However, I mean, how would you want him to ride on it? Would you want him to like sit back like this and ride on it? I mean, that's another option. So it all works pretty cool, pretty good. Options are great. And this set, it's overall, it's not a lot to the set, but it's what you need. Would have been nice if they would have included some of these, uh, the gap fillers, wherever the gap fillers uh, may be, the gaps. Maybe some gap fillers for the bot mode or something would have been nice. That would have made it a perfect set. Alright, so I really do like this set. I think this is a good looking set overall for the price. What you get out of it. I don't usually do upgrade kits, but I feel like this one's worth it. Because you get the little figure out of it. And then you get a couple of cool extra pieces in there that Hasbro decided not to give you. But I think it's fun. I think it's cool. And I will have a link down below where you could get this yourself. Uh, I think they're processing another batch that came in or something. But if you've got this pre-ordered for the future, then you might want to pick this set up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Uh, check it out at Show Z. Like, subscribe to Deer Hanger Out. Me slag say you full of beryllium baloney. Say you full of cesium salami. Barely, I'm